Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm not that enthused either. But we've got some work to do on the Flumins. And I've got a little thing sitting here. We'll get to that later. But for now, let's get to what we actually have to work on. Good old Flumings. This is something I kind of wanted to scratch off my list for quite a while. And it is a reverse switch for the ZF5. That way I've got reverse lights. I know I should be, <laughs> it's been almost four years now since I've got the truck running and I really should have gotten this done sooner, but I didn't. So now we're doing it. So this is how I had the connections before. I just literally, this is the only time I've ever used these, was just to stuff it onto the, the two prong. They were a little snippy. Alright, so all the ZFI reverse thing is just a constant 12 volt power source straight to the back of the truck for the reverse lights. And I just stuffed these button terminals on just to get it by, just to see if it would work before I got this thing ordered in. This is how you Western Union splice. Super easy. And I recommend everybody uses this. So, I don't know, the strip it back maybe an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, something like that. Twist up the, the lead. Got it? Then, you do it on the other side. Okay. Now you've got two leads just like this. Don't forget your damn heat shrink. Okay. Slide your heat shrink on and this is what you do. For me. You take your wires about like X and then you just twist them twist them together really tight and if you do it right it should look something like that and the beauty of this is the tighter you pull it the tighter like the more you pull it the tighter this will cinch up up on itself and I'm telling you, this is this is such a good way to do it. You're supposed to technically solder this and then heat shrink it, but come on. Grow up. This is the best union you'll ever have when it comes to automotive electricity. I'm, I'm saying it right now. So let me get these soldered up and we'll be back. I suppose we should check to see if our wiring is good too, huh? Okay, we got that done. That wasn't really that big of a deal, but for me, it's a nice little uh, checklist. So the next thing, fuel plate. Let's get that pulled apart, and I kind of want to play the fuel a little bit. I think I want to give a little more oomph. I'm kind of a cheater because I've already been in here a couple years ago. Alright. You guys are probably wondering why the AFC is off. I'm not working on the fuel plate. What I'm working on, there's a crack. Right there. And I think that's a lot of to do with my issues with fueling and fuel mileage all that stuff so we're going to take this these lines off both ends and then replace them And it's tight. Oh my god. Alright. Let's get the AFC. Stab our fitting on there. 
and put it all back together and see how she runs. So one of the super big questions I've got is, I don't know how long to make this. I don't want it super long, but I want it long enough where I can pull the AFC out of the way if I ever want to fuck with the fuel plate. So I'm gonna go happy medium. I think I'm gonna go right around this length. It's probably about a foot, about twice the length of the original hose. And I hope that won't affect any kind of boost reference. I doubt it, but we'll see. get that arm there it is okay and there's an adjustment in the AFC and I'm told to max it out bring it full forward okay so we are finally done I put a piece of loom wrap on there just to make sure nothing rubs so I all the final checks have been done this has been blocked off with the wastegate more boost so let's get in the truck and see how much more power we've got. Oh. So I really hope this is what my problem is with power. If not, we're gonna have to order, that's supposed to be off. We're gonna have to order some sort of fuel plate. Once again, like I said, let me know what size fuel plate you think. I'm thinking 10, I do not wanna go zero unless I have to, but let's see how much this AFC adds power. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we got on the main drag in town. And it seems a little more peppy, a little more, uh, a little more pulling power. What I'm going to do kind of cruise through town here and get to the open road and then we're gonna do some pulls see how much power we've really got but well, I can already tell it, it might be spicy boys so hang tight I'll be back all right we're at the Ford dealership that's the closest way out of town I'll turn and then pull over start from I'll go up the road a little bit. There's guys outside, and I don't want to be too weird. <laughs> There's an OES. See if this boost line really helps the AFC. Start first. Trying to grab. So with 
ladder bars that hopefully stop that shimmy. And two, it would look cool. And I've got a really cool design that I think uh, would really go together with the truck and the channel and all that stuff. Dude, this is so cool. All right. Let's find a place to turn around. Let's do that again. Back home. Now this makes me think, this is a gas drive shaft. Is that gonna last? No, I don't think it will. I don't know where we're at. We're just gonna pull into some, this nice driveway here. Hopefully not get oil everywhere. It's really bad on inclines. We're on a pretty good incline right now. Tell me what you guys think. It could be bushings, but watch. This is first gear. That wasn't too bad, actually. All right, let's do another pull. All right. This is half throttle right now. Fourth gear, a half throttle. This thing's like a freaking rocket. train yes all right I was getting sad I'm like what's going on am I is the engine dying like am I getting less compression or something what's going on and I've been chasing this problem for I don't know three months four months but that line looked rusted I think it's been going for quite a while Anyway guys, that's the video. I figured it out. It was a stupid AFC line. I'm glad it was something so easy and simple to fix and found everything at a hardware store. Um, stay tuned because we got some more cool stuff coming up. It's getting nicer out, so I'm gonna have to feel more incentive to work on the trailer and full welding gear. So we're gonna have more uh, trailer videos coming. Hang tight guys, but until then, let's keep trucking.